In this isonine training video, we will demonstrate the method for calculating the ventilation requirements for areas of spray foam installation. By following these guidelines, you help create the safest possible environment for all workers on the job site. Isonine has determined the following re-entry and reoccupancy periods based upon ventilation during and after the spray application. To calculate the required ventilation rate, choose the most suitable re-entry and reoccupancy period for the spray area. To determine the size of fan or fans required, we must first calculate the volume of the area to be sprayed. The volume is calculated by measuring the length, width, and height of each room where the spray foam is to be applied. For a traditional space, multiply the length by the width by the height to derive the volume. When working with an attic space, multiply the length by the width by half the height. To determine the required ventilation rate, multiply the volume calculated in the previous step by the desired air changes per hour or ACH. Then divide this value by 60 to get the minimum required fan size in cubic feet per minute or CFM. For example, for an attic space measuring 42 feet long, 28 feet wide, and 6 feet high, we have a total volume of 3,528 cubic feet to be ventilated. In order to ventilate this space at a rate of 40 air changes per hour, you would require a fan capacity of at least 2,352 cubic feet per minute. Now that you have the required cubic feet per minute, you will need to obtain a suitable sized fan or fans capable of delivering the desired ventilation rate for the required re-entry and reoccupancy traffic. Make sure that the fan is positioned such that the air is drawn away from the spray area and ventilated to the outside in a safe location. There should be a passive supply of air entering the space that is less powerful than that of the exhaust fan intake creating a negative pressure environment for the spray area. Ideally, the air intake should be approximately 25 feet away from the sprayer and have a particle screen attached at the opening for best operation. Keep in mind that the fan's ventilation rate can diminish depending on the positioning of the flexible duct. The path of the exhaust air should be as efficient as possible with minimal curvature for maximum ventilation rate. Following these ventilation instructions while installing isonine products will allow for a properly ventilated spray area, ensuring a safer environment for everyone.